What is up guys, Jake from One Hive here with the next Elite 8 series video. Uh, some really nice attacks to show on this one, so let's get to it. Uh, we'll start a couple wars back. We got two wars to span here. Uh, let's see, first one we're going to look at is Big, taking on number 18 with a like a reverse holo. Really nice. You see that all the air coverage on this base way up top there, so Big's going to exploit that. I think he could actually win in with a just a normal holo, holo this bottom part, all those cannons, wizard towers, and mortars before anything really took them out. Uh, you, know, you could have done the lure and then done that part, but it worked this way as well. I uh, just happened to lose all his hogs doing it this way because of the giant bomb placement. Uh, but the damage was done. The base was wrecked. Uh, so brings the CC troops up top here. Just going to do a normal uh, CC kill, working them back and forth. Uh, you see using just barge just to get them bunched up a little bit. He's got minions and wizards to worry about and few archers. Uh, right there he's got them bunched up. So now he's going to drop the uh, distraction troops and then the wizards just to surround it and take it out. You see he's got a nice group which they go down very quickly when you do it like that. All that splash damage takes them out. Boom, they're gone. Now he's going to come in with the hogs. Just sort of a four finger drop here. Uh, coming in, you know, several hogs on each one of these four defenses. And now they're going to work their way from there into the air defenses. Obviously, it's the next closest defensive buildings. Drops a, a heal form. Beautiful there. Uh, really didn't... Uh, just a little bit off on the heal. Could have done a little bit farther left. Didn't need two heals there. Uh, but could have done it all with one, but that's okay because the hogs did get the job done. Then drops a heal form down at the bottom, uh, but you see, watch the bombs are going to just completely wipe them out. Uh, but here comes the balloons on the back side. Again, probably could have been earlier with the balloons uh, just because all the, air, all the air coverage was more than wiped out. But you see right here, all that he has left to deal with all those balloons is a few wizard towers, and that's not going to get it done. So we'll fast forward as those get cleaned up, and the king's drop helps clean up a few wizards around there. Uh, but everything is just going to be absolutely wrecked. Beautiful attack, beautiful reverse holo. Uh, good job, big, big troth. All right, moving on. We've got uh, Thrill versus 23. Oops, 23 right here. Got a nice goho on this one. Uh, you know, these Town Hall 8 gohos are powerful because even if they've got good bomb placement, if you know how to do these, uh, and maybe you could call it a, a small holo since, I mean, he did take out a few defensive buildings and got the CC lure, or at least partial lure here with a with balloons. Then goes in and drops a giant just to get the rest of the lure. Um, when you when you know how to use these gohos at Town Hall 8, they're very powerful, even with good bomb placement. Uh, you know, hogs just wreck. If you can, you know, like we did in the How To Hog at Town Hall 8 video, the only thing that can stop your hogs CC troops and bombs, and if you know how to deal with both of those, uh, which Goho is a very good method for dealing with it, uh, Goho Wee Wee in this particular case with the uh, CC full of witches there to take care of the CC troops, uh, it really is hard to guard against. It's hard to build a base that doesn't just absolutely fall to it. Uh, sends a, a golem in here, a lot of defenses targeting that golem, doing a lot of tanking, so that's nice. Uh, letting the wizards, the witches, get in there, take out a few defensive buildings. I like the uh, king placement over here. Just going to do a king swap, which is, is a perfectly good use for the king at, at Town Hall 8 uh, because he's really not great at cleanup. So uh, king swap is good. And then just coming in uh, from the top, sort of a mini Asian wall uh, coming down on this base. And you see that this the kill squad sort of wrecked this side of the base and the hogs coming in from the top. Uh, he, he let the golem at least get some use out of it. You know, a lot of people I see when they do gohos at Town Hall 8, they send their... Uh, Hogs in right behind the golem. Well, then you got a golem walking around not doing anything. He actually let his golem do tanking, came in from a different angle. So I really like that part of the raid. Uh, it really, you know, gave value to that to that golem. So good job there, Thrill. Uh, just absolutely destroyed this space. You see tons of hogs left, um, you know, plenty of cleanup troops. Just got a heal left. I mean, you know, just wrecked that base. I mean, really, really nice job. Uh, just no question it was going to be a three-star from the get-go. All right. Uh, we've got Switch Wars now. We'll go to their last war. Let's see here. Right there. España. Um, hey, is this a perfect war? Yeah, perfect war. Another one. They had a few they didn't get, but I didn't even notice that when I was looking at it. Good job, guys. Another perfect war for Genesis. They are like going for the land speed record on these or something. Uh, 007 versus 11. Go ho. Right there. Boom. We're going to actually see both of 007's attacks on this war. Both of them really nice, so good job, 007. Uh, this part right here I liked, and I didn't like it. 
wall breakers, uh, wizard to back up that golem, and that golem's going to go all the way in, get the CC lure, and trigger two giant bombs. This was a cleanup attack, so 007 knew where everything was. Uh, but I think maybe like two, maybe three giants could have done the same thing and would have saved some troop space. Because right there, you know, once he gets in there, triggers the bombs are still beating on him, still beating on him. It might have been a little wasteful, but it was nice and it did work. Uh, so I won't knock it, uh, but probably uh, two or three giants would have done the same thing and would have had a little extra, a few extra hogs, but no big deal. Uh, gets the CC lure, gets two bombs triggered, uh, one defensive building taken down and brings him over to the side, drops some wizards, which is all that good stuff for cleanup. Uh, the, probably a good thing too, because that defensive building did have a uh, witch in it. Uh, and then just a two finger drop, here they come. Uh, going to work their way into the base. Only one bomb left to worry about, so really it's just a matter of placing heals, which that one right there was beautiful. Covered so many hogs, so many defensive buildings. Uh, just a matter of placing, uh, you know, spells, heal spells, where the where the fences are clumped up and where the hogs are going to spend the most of their time, which uh, 007 did a very nice job of. Uh, right there, the last bomb gets discovered and takes out that defensive building up there. All those skeletons are up there beating on those hogs, but they're still full health. Uh, skeletons un cannot hurt hogs under heal. They just can't. Uh, I like how they everything ended up right here on this king to where when that last defensive goes down, uh, the king is going to get dealt with very quickly. Uh, right there, you see the last few hogs. Uh, he actually, I'm sorry, the, the king takes out the hogs, but he had enough cleanup troops. Probably should have sent that uh, defensive, that offensive king in there, done a king swap a little quicker, because uh, that king did take out your last three or four hogs there, that level 10 king. Uh, but still, the damage was done, the base was wrecked, uh, plenty of cleanup troops to get around and get the job done, so beautiful attack, 007. Uh, good job, buddy. All right, just waiting on the three star here. Right there, boom. All right, next one we're going to look at is Ryan versus 16. And this was this was neat. This was like a surgical holo. Uh, Town Hall 8 surgical holo, that's pretty cool. Uh, just sending in, you know, balloons on each one of these archer towers in the corners here. I'm going to take those out. That's, that way the hogs, once they get in there, uh, they don't have to path outside. There's obvious uh, giant bomb potential spots there. Probably not giant bombs there, but you never know. Uh, it takes out some point defense, gets the CC lure, eliminates a few possible spots, so, you know, a win-win there. Uh, and then just going to bring those, as soon as this, uh, these few balloons over here take out this cannon, and the CC troops get over to it, they're going to go down, and then it's just time for the CC kill. Uh, we'll start to fast forward just a little bit to bring them down here. A little bit of barge just to bunch them up, distract, and then there's your uh, witches in the CC. Going to take them out with uh, just the normal... Kill squad there, nothing special. And then right here, uh, gonna start sending in the the giants, the tank, uh, and then the hogs, just you know, surgical hogs coming in. Now the one problem here with this one is that there's not a lot of point defense in range. Uh, and this giant over here on the wizard tower, you really don't need it on a wizard tower. It's nice, it worked fine, I mean, it's, it is tanking for them, uh, but really didn't need it. But the other ones were beautiful, uh, and the heal spell in the core, that was nice. Uh, a little quicker on the on the giant deployment maybe and the hogs behind them, but really good job. You know all that shoot at that at that giant up there, the cannon, the real threat to the to the hogs. And then I like on the last part here the, on the no more giants, but he uses his uh, king as like a, as a, you know an extra giant, an extra tank. So now as these hogs work their way through the base and come up to those last few uh, cannons not even being touched by them. They're being chased by skeletons and the king, but the, the cannons are completely focused on his offensive king. So that was a nice touch, I thought. A uh, good use of the king at Town Hall 8. Uh, everything goes down right there. The defensive king goes down. The threats are over. And we'll fast forward for the beautiful three-star. So really nice job, Ryan. Uh, good job with that. Uh, something I, I don't think I've seen before, a surgical holo. That might be a first, so good job. All right. Uh, next one, Smog uh, versus 24. This was a sweet attack. Uh, people were asking me in the video, you know, can you do this at Town Hall 8? Here you go. Go Volo at Town Hall 8 and done very well. I only brought five, um, five Valks, uh, brought six Hogs, and I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what the, uh, what the goal of the Hogs were because they got sent in here. They didn't have a tank or a heal, and they go down pretty quickly. They take out one, those three Hogs take out one defensive building, 
you see that the, the valve part of the attack, everything's going in right here. The funnel was created. That's all good. Send some wall breakers in to help them get into the core. It's one thing about uh, Town Hall 8 Govala. There's no jump spell. You've got to get it in the old-fashioned way, uh, and Smog does a good job there. Uh, now he's got the, the Valks in the core, and right there, boom, drops a rage. That rage was a little bit uh, far back. Could have been more towards the towards the core of the base, but the heel was nice. Uh, the Valks running around, they're going to wreck that very quickly. And now you see the back end balloons coming in and just doing a lot of damage, uh, taking out multiple defensive buildings. So that's nice to see. Uh, one more air defense right there, boom, it goes down. And then uh, Smog's going to send in the rest of his balloons. And again, those the Hogs, I, th I almost like, would like to have seen just extra balloons. I mean, Hogs are a great cleanup troop, and I think that's what Smog pretty much uh, uses it for here. Uh, and they do, th they do the job well for that. Uh, but, you know, you see them flying to spring traps there. I almost would have other seen just some extra balloons, maybe. Uh, but nevertheless, a beautiful Govalo Town Hall 8. There you go, guys. It's absolutely possible. Uh, that's pretty much how you do it right there. And the type of base you're going to be looking for on it. So good job, Small. All right, let's look at one more. It's 007 second attack. And this one I thought was cool. Just It's not the hardest base, and it's not, uh, you know, it's just one of those neat attacks. Uh, there's a hole in the center. And uh, he just drops a few barbs in there to trigger all that, and start getting the CC lure, and then just boom, see the heel go down, rage goes down, and here come uh, mass Valks. I believe he had Valks in the CC as well, just ripping through this core. I mean, you see how quickly it goes down. The CC troops go down. There is a, a few minions in the in the CC, but he had a few wizards in there to help clean that up, uh, and then just back in uh, back in balloons, and sort of like on that sweet attack by Poppy. Uh, a lot of stuff was targeting the troops on the inside anyway, so the, the balloons just happened. Look how quickly that happened. I mean, it's over. I don't, I'm going to have to go back and actually see how fast that attack was, because that might have been, I know it's Town Hall 8, I know it was a bad base, but that might have been one of the fastest uh, cleared bases I've ever seen. That was incredibly quick. Uh, let's look at that one more time. Let's see what the timer is on that. Yeah, a minute 12. I don't know if I've ever seen an attack that fast. Just beautiful. Just absolutely wrecked it uh, in a perfect war for Genesis. So good job, guys. All right, that is it. Hope you liked the video, the attacks, the perfect war. Uh, hope you have a great week. I've got you know so much content uh, that came out this week and this weekend. Hope you've enjoyed all of it. Until next time, Jake from One Hive reminding you guys to suck less.